Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Trucking with Trucker D. I'm Trucker D, and we're back at it again. So let me take a sip of this coffee here before I get on with uh, my rant for the morning. <coughs> we got just got done getting showered up over here at the Loves across the street. And we are getting ready to head over to Massachusetts. We're going to go over here to this delivery. We're going to drop, turn, and burn. Head right back over here to uh, Horseheads, New York. And the game plan for the day is to get loaded up early. But unfortunately, we are going to be dealing with high winds and bad weather. It's supposed to rain today again. It's like every time I come out here to the East Coast, it rains. Now, the week before, when I came out to Connecticut, all it did was rain. And then the week before that, when I went out to New York, to Baldwinsville, it rained. So now, I'm going to be dealing with rain today. And I can already tell you the winds are going to be high. I was outside doing my pre-trip and this little dusty parking lot. I'm going to have to go home and clean this fleet air filter. I guarantee it. It's uh, <laughs> it's definitely been a dusty, uh, dusty morning. But I ain't got much to say. We're going to go ahead and get on down the road and uh, catch this footage going into Massachusetts. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you when we get over to... Our delivery. All right, y'all. Talk to you in a bit. Later.
What's up, y'all? So we made it to our receiver. We still have to go check in yet. Um, yeah, Massachusetts is beautiful. I'm really starting to look old. I really am. But yeah, Massachusetts is beautiful. I mean, I didn't really... I enjoyed it better than Connecticut. Coming into the state, it's not like a madhouse like Connecticut was. And the roads seem to be a little bit better. Oh, my door, it's weird. It only pops open out here in the in the East Coast. I'm beginning to wonder if uh, if maybe it's just the pressure from the mountains or whatnot. But I don't know. We gotta walk over here and check in and see if uh, this place doesn't look like they have any uh, anybody in the docks yet. So we might actually be able to get right in. And if that's the case will be ahead of schedule I'm happy I booked that one load going to um, going back home even though it's got deadhead now I, in the last video I said it was 217 miles well that's what truck smarter said as far as deadhead went it is actually from this location 285 miles according to Google Maps so that ought to be fun today you know it's just too bad that the weather's going to be crappy, that it's going to be raining out, you know, it's going to be a mountainous area, it's going to be beautiful scenery, but it's going to be ruined by the weather. So, but I'm going to go in here and check in, and we're going to get us a dot. Alright, talk to y'all in a bit. Later.
y'all. So we made it over here to Horse Heads, New York, and we're definitely not going to get loaded today. I don't know why my appointment time is from um, 6 in the morning to 8 p.m. for tomorrow. The place is only open from 7 a.m. to 4.30. I just missed it by a half hour, unfortunately. So we're over here at this Walmart, and check this out. I don't know what this little spot here is. But it's almost like they designated this area for trucks. And it's literally like two seconds down the road from where I'm delivering at. And I stopped the vibration from the truck in the dashboard. As a matter of fact, let me shut this thing down now. I'm going to need to get the miles off there though so I can mark down my unlading, unladed, unlading miles for my drive through New York uh, that weren't on the thruway. And then uh, mark down my unladen miles that were on the thruway earlier. And the thruway is I-90, the toll road that runs through New York. So, but yeah, I decided to park over here at this Walmart because I need to go in and grab a couple items. And I'll just get this load picked up first thing in the morning. That way when we get on the road and as long as we make it home before, uh, before 8 p.m. tomorrow. We'll have no issue getting a 10 hour real reset in before we got to deliver at Meyer on Saturday. You know, I wish I really could post all the footage from today. New York is absolutely a forgotten gem when it comes to. Hold on, let me uh, update my status here and put myself off duty before I forget. New York's a forgotten gem. I don't think I've ever appreciated fall so much the colors of everything that I seen today the way the trees were in the mountains and just it was absolutely gorgeous I mean if you made it up to this point in the video you've already seen the footage that I'm talking about and like I said I wish I could put all that footage in here for today but if I did that the video would probably be over an hour long and I don't think y'all would sit around for an hour to bask in the glory of the state of New York in Massachusetts at that Massachusetts and New York this time of year beautiful absolutely beautiful I really really enjoyed the drive today all until I got to Binghampton New York once I jumped on uh, 86 it started downpouring the road absolutely horrible and put me saying about the road so in New York <coughs> you gotta have what they call a New York HUT sticker, which is a separate permit to drive in the state of New York, just like they have in Kentucky. Kentucky's is the KYU, the Kentucky weight distance. Um, New York, it's the New York heavy use tax. And that tax is supposed to keep the roads, or it's supposed to go towards the roads. Uh, 86, which it's actually technically before you uh, before you get into PA because you go into PA for like literally a quarter mile and then go right back into New York. But and it from the time you get on or come off of 88, it's New York 17 future I 86. And then once you get through New York or get go into that little small area on PA, it's uh. It becomes I-86. So, but anyways, what I was saying was 86 was just horrible. The road was rough. You know, I, I know people were getting mad because I was doing literally, I was probably doing 55, 60, maybe. Yeah, you know, I just paid $2,000 to have an alignment and front end suspension work done on this truck. I'm not going to drive like my ass is on fire on a rough road just to make everybody else happy and a lot of people that are blowing past me are company drivers anyways they ain't got to pay for those trucks if they mess up the suspension so man eh, you know what i'd like to say right now but I'm not gonna say it but yeah these company drivers they don't care about the company trucks they'll do a hundred down a dirt road and not even not even uh not even care i almost really swore right there Anyways, 
I want to go in here to this Walmart after I record my mileage and uh, I'm going to put some of this footage together. Like I said, it's probably going to end up being a longer video than normal because there was so much good, beautiful fall footage. But, yeah, we'll cut the video here today and we'll pick it back up tomorrow. But with that, y'all, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Be courteous to your fellow drivers. Hustle hard and stay humble. And we'll see y'all on the next one. Later, y'all.